Hello friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and if this is your first time here, welcome to Booked and Busy. Today's video is going to be TBR Prompt Jar Chooses My February TBR. Uh, I had so much fun with this in January and as of filming this, I have read four out of the five books on my TBR. So I'm excited to see what books I'm going to be reading in the month of February. Before we get into the TBR, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Book of the Month. If you're anything like me and you love reading new releases, it can be very hard to stay on top of the hundreds of books that come out every single month. Book of the Month is here to solve that problem for you because they have a team of professionals who vet all the books that are coming out and they choose five to seven of the hottest releases from debut, upcoming authors, and some big names too. And they curate a list of five to seven for you to choose from. Recently, they launched audiobooks. So if you're more of an audiobook girly and you wanna mix it up this month, you can choose an option of a physical book that's delivered straight to to your door for free 99 or you can choose an audiobook that you can listen to in the app i love book of the month because i can get such a big bang for my buck you can get brand new sometimes early release hardcover fiction for a fraction of the price of what you would pay at the bookstore and book of the month is running a special promotion that if you use the code smooth you can get your first book and box for 9.99 they have an amazing selection of books to choose from but i have two that i'm a bit more partial to that i want to recommend to you first up we have heartless hunter by kristen cicero and let me tell you, the first line says, enemies to lovers doesn't get more high stakes than a witch and a witch hunter falling in love in this romantic fantasy. I'm sorry, but you had me at enemies to lovers. I am a known witch hater, but when you put a witch and a witch hunter together and they have to fight this connection and these feelings that they have for one another and they can't find out who one another is because they are destined to be at odds, I'm sorry, but I'm sad. So if you're interested in Book of the Month, if you're interested in romanticy like I am, romanticy is taking the world by storm, check out Heartless Hunter. In a completely different vein, I'm also one who loves a historical story that has a fantastical element. So this one, we're in 1908 and we're following a mother who is looking for vengeance. If you know anything about me, you know I love a vengeance tale. So this one, we have a brilliant world that explores mortals and spirits, humans and beasts and their dazzling intersection, epic in scope and full of singular, unforgettable characters. The Fox Wife is a stunning novel about old loves and second chances, the depths of maternal love, and ancient folk tales that may very well be true. This one seems like a perfect vibe for this cold winter season. If you're looking for something to cuddle up with, I might recommend this. Book of the Month has a number of other selections, so if one of these, for whatever reason, doesn't interest you, check out the link in my description to check out the other five selections for the month of February. So once again, I want to thank Book of the Month for sponsoring this portion of today's video, and let's get into the TBR. So let's just give her a good shake and get into it if you weren't here in january i choose five little slips of paper to decide my tbr these are various prompts that i got from my patrons and my instagram followers and i'm just gonna choose my tbr so let's do it all right prompt number one let's go with this one okay I don't know what it says. Give an author a second chance. Hmm. I have been planning to do another giving authors a second chance video, so that's perfect. Let's go with, oh, that's two. Let's go with this one. lowest rated on your tbr lowest rated on your tbr that makes me nervous but also my goodreads tbr is an accurate reflection of all the books that i own that are on my tbr so we'll see let's do i'm just getting all blues okay this one has a place in the title has a place in the title okay we've got three out of five and like i did in january i'm going to pull all of my prompts first and then i'm going to pick the books later i want a green so let's go with that one okay this one says Favorite author wreck. Favorite author wreck. Okay, and then our last prompt. Let's give a good sh 
shape. Let's go with, okay. Oh, I have two. Okay, let's go with this one. Favorite author right was the last one. And then what is this going to be? Seasonal read. A seasonal read. Hmm, okay. We've got an interesting selection of books. So we've got a seasonal read, a favorite author wreck, has a place in the title, lowest rated on my TBR, and giving an author a second chance. So I'm going to go and pull some books that fulfill these prompts and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been like 10, 15 minutes, but I have come up with a TBR. I also have some books that I want to mention that aren't part of my TBR prompt or TBR, but are my obligation. So let's get into it. First and foremost, uh, I run a book club over on my Patreon. We have a bi-monthly book club where we read a selection of various books. If you're interested in joining us, the link to my Patreon is always in the description. And in the month of February, we are reading Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. This is one of my self-destructing books. And it's a book I have really high hopes for. This is alleged to have inspired the Hunger Games. So I know it's a competition where these various, uh, I want to say either middle schoolers or high schoolers in Japan are put on this island and they have to like fight to the death. Uh, and there's like a public spectacle element of it as well yeah they're junior high school students so i'm really excited to read this we're going to be reading this in the month of february there will be a spoiler filled reading vlog and a live show discussion of this one so i'm really looking forward to it i have been fortunate enough to be asked to co-host not one but two book clubs in the month of february First up, we have the Literally Bad Book Club run by my friend Kayla over at Books and Lala. And we're going to be reading Out There Screaming by Jordan Peele. This is a black horror anthology. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I don't read many anthologies. I want to say I read my first last year, which I also kind of buddy read with Kayla for my book club. So we are running it back with this one. So there are how many stories in here? I want to say... 19 which seems like an odd number but I counted 19 stories in here some from authors that I've read from before some from authors that are new to me so I found that this uh reading anthologies based on the one that I've read was a really great experience and exposed me to a lot of authors in very quick succession that I wanted to read more from like in the anthology that I read last year it really made me excited to read KJ Parker and I read like a novella of his that was on my January TBR so very much looking forward to joining Kayla to discuss out there screaming uh when the live show is scheduled I'll post on my community tab and like leave a link for that one. The third uh, obligation book I was able to fit into my TBR so let's talk about it. I am going to be co-hosting the book troupe which is run by Gabby over at Gabby Reads. I'm so excited. Uh, I was on the book troupe last like two years ago and we're going to be reading The Reformatory by Tanana Redu which is uh, Tanana Redu's 2023 release and this is like kind of historical black horror uh, and for this one a prompt was has a place in the title and The Reformatory is like a school so I'm really looking forward to reading that one so this is our first tbr prompt same with the book troop or same with literally dead i will leave a link in my community tab when we're getting close to the live show for the reformatory uh this one says takes place in gracetown florida in june 1950 12 year old robbie stevens jr is sentenced to six months at the gracetown school for boys for kicking the son of the largest landowner in town in defense of his older sister gloria so begins robbie's journey further into the terrors of the jim crow south and the very real horror of the school they call the reformatory so this also has like a speculative element because robbie we can see ghosts at this reformatory and that plays a large part of it i'm very looking forward to this uh tanner do is a you know legend in the black horror community and i know my friend steph from stephanie bookish really likes this and she enjoys this author so i'm looking forward to reading this one Next up for the prompt of a seasonal read, I have chosen Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is a reread for me. I want to reread this one and continue on with the rest of the Grishaverse. So be on the lookout for a video of me reading this one. Very much looking forward to this one. I read this back in 2021 for Polarthon, which is a readathon hosted by Jade from Jade Ray Reads. And I read this in one sitting. And I didn't continue on the series despite owning them all, but I'm gonna rectify that in the month of February, and maybe into March, uh, while it's still really cold outside. I thought this was the perfect seasonal read. 
Marie. Shadow and Bone is this Asian inspired, Asian slash Russian inspired fantasy tale about this world where there is this like darkness, this blight that has covered part of this land. And our main character is like a long lost magic user that's like a sunbringer and she can br literally bring the light. Uh, there's a lot more going on with that, but I haven't read this in two years. So I really don't recall. And my edition is like the fairy loot edition and it doesn't really have a synopsis on it. So I'm excited to read it and I hope that this will be a good one. Next up, we have a favorite author recommend. So I chose Robin Hobb. I looked at her Goodreads profile to see books that she reviewed and liked. And then it turns out she actually has blurbed this book as well. And that is the book that wouldn't burn by Mark Lawrence. Her blurb says dark and relentless, a two in the morning page turner. And she has a really in-depth review, which I'll pop right here on Goodreads. She gave this one five stars. The book that wouldn't burn is a book that I'm very much looking forward to. It's going to be my first Mark Lawrence. He's an author that I've just heard so much about. This is his first work that isn't grim dark and this one we follow these two characters who uh come together at this library and our first character Lavira, she comes from the dust and the weeds and she is this really tenacious character and our other character is trapped inside this library and somehow their paths converge um i'm gonna be buddy reading this with steph from stephanie bookish which also started our buddy read on january 15th but we're very chaotic buddy readers so I think she's read like a chapter or two and I have read nothing but I will be prioritizing this in the month of February. Next up we have Lois Rated on my TBR so I pop in a screenshot or a screen recording right here. I opened up my Goodreads, I checked out a Lois Rating and for whatever reason it wasn't in order but the lowest rated book that I saw in that first little page had a 3.12 rating and that is The Paul Bears Club by Paul Tremblay. This is a little bit of a memoir, a little bit of a vampire tale but we're following this character I think named Arch or Arthur yeah Art Barbara and he's writing this story about his life and then his friend who he thinks might be a vampire is kind of like reading and annotating the story and like her annotations are in red I know this is a favorite of Kayla's and I think she is kind of in the minority because it has a 3.12 so it's very much not well liked but I want to say this will be my first Paul Tremblay and Kayla and I in the past have had similar tastes in horror so i'm cautiously optimistic about this one and um i love a vampire trail so last but not least we have a prompt of giving an author a second chance so i have chosen a study in drowning by ava reed this is her ya debut this is a standalone novel and honestly the synopsis of this one is really nonsensical in my opinion but i've heard really great things about it so we follow this girl who has been having visions of the fairy king and she is a first year at this architecture college and she gets the opportunity to redesign her favorite author's like home but in the author has recently deceased and she two rival students are investigating this author's legacy and one of them thinks that what she is doing in the things that are going on is like a hoax um that's kind of the best of my ability of understanding it but I don't understand why you would want to redesign an author's house even when they did I don't know but I'm excited to read it I'm excited to get into it I think this is perfectly like a atmospheric read which is good for winter time I'm not much of a seasonal reader I kind of read everything year round but I do think dark cozy atmospheric books are good for the winter time because I don't want to go outside I want to be curled up with a book so yeah, this is the last book on my TBR. So let's see what we're looking like this month with our priority TBR as well as our obligations. I think it's going to be a good month. Uh, there's a lot of horror. So technically, there are three horror books on this TBR, those two book club books. And I feel like the Paul Bears Club is also a horror. And then this is a little bit of like a thriller, but might give slasher vibes in a, in a way because it's so violent. So here we have my February TBR so uh, I guess I should put it this way because the ones at the bottom these are my prompt jar picks these five and then these two are additions but here is what I'm going to be reading in the month of February February is the month of love and I'm going to be hosting a readathon on Patreon about reading books that feature romances books that you think you'll love so again if that interests you you know where to find it but this is not very romance heavy so I'm sure I'll be move reading lots of romance and fantasy romance throughout the course course lord throughout the course of the month of february so if you made it to the end of this video 
What emoji do we want to leave? Let's leave a house emoji or like a school. Let's leave a school for the reformatory and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.